Hello, I'm Tony. I just would like to explain how EaseMake works. Um, I designed it. it. Consists of two parts: body and the arm. The body's got three machine screws. Two have been welded in. One's adjustable. To connect the body to the arm. Put them together and you use this little knob, you tighten that up, that joins them together. Now, it's basically just a tool to help you fit soffit fascia a little bit more easier, especially you know if you're working on your own or even if you're working with a team. I've made this little mock up of two variations this tool can be used on. On the back there that's a tip of frame setup but on the front this is a setup of cavity brickwork. So this would represent your brickwork, this part here, and this is your top plate where your roof comes down. Normally what would happen, most carpenters, they ping their lines through, they do their seat cuts, using a level, With the eaves, mate, all you have to do is drop it on the brickwork, just like that. Because it's run out 90 degrees, it'll give you a perfect seat cut. Not only that, if you drop a square bit of spare uh, fascia on it, that'll give you a plumb cut. That's if you want to use it to mark. It's not designed to mark, but you can use it for that. What it's designed for is to help you fit soffit and fascia. So let's get started. As you can see, these, these uh, tail ends are a bit short, so we need to put a backer on them. And normally these backers are about five metres long, so to do that on your own is a little bit of a struggle. I'm going to screw everything up because this is just a mock-up and it doesn't need nothing. Anyway, so you've got your ease mate in place. Simply drop your back of bowl the one in, and that's holding it for you. You know you've got to keep back and ball flush with your seat cut, so that's all you need to do. Let's screw it in there. You're normally nailed. Right. The next stage would be to you can either put your facial on first or your soffit. Not everyone does it the same. I personally will always put my soffit in first. So I'll adjust the arm down slightly, drop it back in, get in where you like. off it, slide it on and that holds it for you. Now normally you get a soldier to hold the, the uh, socket down and put a nail in there. Again because it's only a mock up I'm going to screw it. Keep that flush with the or you keep it at 5 mil. I keep it flush because I know it's going to have plenty of cover with the fascia. So we'll sand this end. Flush. Now, what you've got to do is now drop your fascia on. Well, because that's held in the right position for you, you can quite easily hold it up by yourself. You don't need this to hold it. So to take this out, you just need to pull up, soften it with your hammer, tilt it back up, and pull it out. Put it to one side to do whatever you want with it. Now with your fascia, again, it's a five meter length. All you've got to do is start at the center and quite easily hold it up yourself. 
again I'm screwing it because I need to be now to lock up. It's as simple as that. Now I'll quickly spin this round and show you how it works and tip the frame. Now this side is representing Tim Frey. Most jobs I work on, windows down 10 or 250. What people tend to do is these are your pinch buttons, your window finishes here, your soffit wants to run in line with this point here. Right, so normally people put the button above. That means when you put the soffit on. You have to try and get underneath to nail it up. With the ease mate, <coughs> it makes that a little bit easier. I moved the batten down in line with the top of the pinch batten. And then afterwards I put a batten across the top, on top of the fascia, across the window in case you want to get a fixing for the window. Again, ease mate, simple. But all you've got to do with this, this time this is your top of your timber frame. Cheap. Tap that in. But first, you need to adjust it to the timber frame settings, which is this machine screw. Same thing. Screws together. You can adjust it up and down. If you know this is I don't know, 300, whatever, that can be adjusted. If that's not enough, you bring it down the next screw anyway. So, I say you drop it on, tap it into the top of your timber frame again because that's at 90 degrees. You can use it in seat cut and you can use it for the thumb cut if you want to. The best place to put the ease mate is directly above the window. It allows you to get it out easier. If it's over a baton, it doesn't matter, you can still get it out. So, same as before, I'll move it back over this way. Because obviously, these towels would need a backer really. So, same again. It's adjusted to your height. Drop your back, your uh, backer on one end. Again, this would be nailed normally, but I'm going to screw it because it's set, uh, temporary. Keep your backer flush with your seat cut. Same on the other end. Now move your window, your ease mate, to your window position. You can get that easily. Just tighten that up a little bit. Right, your ease mate is two parts together the same width as a bit of soffit. So, what that means is when you slide your soffit in, just basically get it onto your ease mate, slide it on, and it's holding it here. I pin these down normally. And maybe put a couple of soldiers to hold it in, you know, secure. What I'm going to do, because it's temporary again, 
and then the screw. As you can see, the soffit's the same thickness as the leaves made, so I'll just pack off the 10 mil. Put the screw in. It'd normally be a nail. Same the other end. As simple as that. I've asked people have asked me how did you get it the ease mate out now. When you're above a window, or yeah, above a window, it's simple. Get your hammer, pull the ease mate up. Because it's over a window, you can turn and pull it out. Soffit's all held for you. It's the same thing again. That soffit. It's perfect on them seat cuts and that back of all. All you've got to do now is get your fascia, pull it up tight, and again, it'd normally be now, but because it's temporary, I'm screwing it. That's it. Hope you've really enjoyed the video. If you have, please subscribe. I will be doing videos of actual site work so you can see that it's a handy little tool. It will save you a little bit of time. And um, see you again.